Hey everyone, it's Andrew Warner, founder of MixerD.com, home of the ambitious upstart. Want to know how to get into the Wall Street Journal and other publications? Well, listen to what Ramit Sethi did. Ramit Sethi runs a website called I Will Teach You To Be Rich. And by the way, most people who see that title think it's a big scam, which is why it helps for him to have that little image on his website that says, as featured in the Wall Street Journal and so many other newspapers. So when he told me how helpful that was, I asked him to teach us how he got into the Wall Street Journal so you and I could learn from him. Here's his answer. Because I was a cocky 22-year-old, I don't remember how old I was, I, I found a few personal finance journalists on the Wall Street Journal. And I wrote them and said, look, you guys need somebody to write for young people. I'll do it, and I'll do it for free. And they ignored me, and they blew me off. And I would just, what I would do is just literally um, send them an email every few weeks or month and say, hey, just FYI, posted this new post and also got covered here. And they, I was not covered anywhere major. These were like little websites, but that's all I had. So went on and on and on. They finally passed me to an editor. Editor said, look, we're not interested, but thanks. I'll keep you in mind. Fine. So I told him, Hey, just kept on pinging him. Took me months. Finally, one day, I was about to fly to Japan. I was giving a talk um, in college, a research project, and I get a call right before I go to the airport. We want to do an interview with you. And I said, well, I'm going to Japan. What are we going to do? So I did the interview from Japan, and um, when I came back, it was featured in the Wall Street Journal online, which was huge, huge, because the traffic was there, and it was a step function where after that day, traffic never went down to where it was. And that always happens when you do, you know, you get great traffic from great sites. Um, that really helped put me on the map. But I would say basically three to four months of being completely ignored. Uh, and I, for me, it was just a game. It was like, look, I, I think this stuff is good. I think you guys need this. You're ignoring me. That's fine. I'm just going to wear you down because I know I can. So that's how I did it. All right. And uh, let's leave it there. Actually, no, I've got another clip that I want to play for you. After he got into the Wall Street Journal the first time, he realized how to do it more frequently, how to get in there again. So let me forward a few steps into this interview and play you this clip that I think is just as important for you to hear. So after I was in the Wall Street Journal and a few other places, I started realizing um, the power of journalists, right? They're, they are huge gatekeepers. And the thing that I didn't get was they need you as much as you need them, assuming you're good and you have something valuable to offer. So what I do with journalists is, you know, I... I make friends with them, I show them stuff that they haven't seen before, and I always offer, I say, <clears throat> if you are looking for stories or uh, numbers, stats, come to me, I can get you stats within 24 hours. So for example, I have a reporter friend at the Chronicle, at San Francisco Chronicle, and he said, look, Ramit, we're writing a story on blah, I need some data. And I put a survey up, that same day I had a thousand responses, and that survey data ran on the front page of the Chronicle. So you. All right, let's leave it there. By the way, I've got his book, I Will Teach You to Be Rich, and right there on top is a quote from the San Francisco Chronicle. And when I decided or when I tried to figure out whether this book is, is legitimate or whether this guy is just trying to sell me something to get rich quick, I saw the San Francisco Chronicle quote and it added so much credibility for me, that and so many others that he has in here. All right, um, so I'd like to hear from you if you've gotten any press, how you did it, and if you tell me in the comments, I will tell you my story of how I got into Good Morning America. All right, this, as always, is part of a much longer, much longer program. I always urge you to watch the full program. I'm just giving you a little taste. If you do, you're going to find out how to promote your site online. He is incredible at doing that. You're going to find out how to negotiate anywhere, get lower prices. You're going to find out how to build a passionate audience on the Internet. So go get that interview. Go learn it as much as you can. All right, thanks for watching, and I'm Andrew Warner. I'll see you in the comments.